Cue the music. There's no more time, sir. Damn it, what can I do? I will not die today. You're just off. What is in a speech like when Hamlet speaks to himself? A soliloquy. And then I'll request a song. It's a damn shame that it's been a hang such a fine actor, such as you. I mean, who else can play a majestic Richard III or make a split our britches with a dirty song? and juggle 12 glasses of jelly all in one night. <laughs> you, you, you do me too much honor, sir. <laughs> Congress closed all the theaters. We have sawed all for entertainment. Such a buckwits, you ask me. Beg <laughs> <laughs> pardon, sir, but it's time, Mr. Walt. Up you can't understand my vitals, sir. You are making a terrible mistake. Mr. Wall, you've been caught red-handed carrying suspicious letters to British officers, which makes you an enemy to the cause of liberty. Get on with it. Sirs, please. I, I'm not a spy. I'm just an actor. Sir, no General Washington. Help! <laughs> I have two middle names and a last name. <laughs> Why? Well, one of them was my father's, but mother wasn't sure which. You mean you're a bastard? That's correct. I'm a bastard. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Mr. Wall, you are found guilty of espionage against the Continental <laughs> Army of the United States. I assure you, sirs, I wouldn't know a spy from a spew. Is this a joke to you? This traitor, this British spy, gonna cause the deaths of your countrymen, our patriots. Do you find that reasonable? No, sir. <laughs> Under the regulation of His Excellency General George Washington, you are sentenced to hang by the neck until you are dead. And may God have mercy on your soul. Wait! <laughs> what about my last word? Excuse me. I, I, I pray you, sir, allow me to make a beautiful, dignified, long speech <laughs> before I shuffle off this mortal coil to explore the undiscovered countries. Be brief. <laughs> All the words. It's a stage. <laughs> All the men and women merely players. I hate Shakespeare. Uh, a song from the Beggar's Opera? I sing Tyburn Tree. Since laws were made for every degree to curb vice in others as well as me, I wonder we had better company upon Tyburn Tree. But gold from law can take out the sting, and if rich men like us were to swing, Twould thin the land, such numbers to string upon time. All right, and now. Everybody! Put gold from the log and take out the sting. And if rich men like us were to swing, Twould thin the land, such numbers to string upon time. Ain't a spy, but just a strolling player. Wall, before the war, 
Were you with that company that came to Baltimore every Christmas time? Exactly so, sir. Uh, I and my lady wife uh, played several roles in the Beggar's Opera to general acclaim. Mm -hmm. Sir, no doubt you know how much General Washington loves the theater. Don't you think he might ask to reconsider my case? You're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed! Thank you for trying, my friend. Shh, shh, listen. It's a horse. It's a horse! It's a horse! From the British commander. He is our countryman, but not of us. Pray excuse this poor devil, if only for the sake of the entertainments he provided on a little stage in our barrack. <laughs> However, the governor of Maryland, on intelligence from General Washington, declares you are not, and never have been a spy for the British. I have no alternative but to release you. I once heard a minister say that actors were the grinning children of the father of lies. I don't trust you, Thomas Llewellyn Leachmere Wall. <laughs> but it seems you are a better actor than I thought. Right, oh, oh, sir. Oh, stop me. The governor has allowed me to open a theater in Baltimore. Do you know what this means? The ban on plays must be lifted. <laughs> <laughs> Once we win, I'm coming to Baltimore to see some plays. And we'll raise a glass or three. <laughs> Your humble and obedient servant, sir. Yours. Mm -hmm. Gotta go. <laughs> Do I know you, boy? So you did get my letters. But, but why did you come? It was so dangerous. Mary, what's amiss? Where are the children? Hollins' son are safe at the mint. And Douglas? What, where is Douglas? Mary, where is my son? 